Stay tuned if you want to see my home decor laundry room haul from Target and Big Lots. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel or if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. My name is Sharon. I'm so glad you stopped by today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would love it if you would leave me a comment and I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a collective haul. In this haul are items that I got online and in store from Target and Big Lots. This haul is centered around my laundry room. I am going to do a laundry room makeover. That video is to come, so make sure you stay tuned. But today I'm going to share with you some of the items that I've collected over the last few weeks. Mmm. The French Lavender and Honey Blossom Room Spray. That smells so heavenly. I love to do this after I've done the bedding. After I've washed my sheets and my pillowcases, I love to spray them with this. It smells so good when you pull them out of the linen closet and put them on the bed. And once I put them on the bed, I spray it again because I love it that much. This is called the Botanicals, and I'm sure you all have seen it, the Botanical French Lavender and Honey Blossom. I got this from Target. I love this stuff. I picked up some Downy Unstoppables. This is the Fresh Scent. You throw these inside the washer. If you haven't seen them before, I'm sure you all have seen them, but for those of you that haven't, you throw these in the wash and wash your laundry with these and it gives off a really, uh, really nice, it gives off a really fresh fragrance. I also use these, I put them in a little bag, a little cloth bag, and put them in the back seat on the floor of my car and it keeps my car smelling fresh, laundry fresh. I like that. So that's just a tip from me to you. Um, what else did I get? Oh, and those things, these items, if I didn't say that, those items came from Target. Um, and then I got this. It's also going to go into my laundry room. Um, it's going to hold, I don't know what yet, um, but I had an idea that I can put little things in here that I don't necessarily want seen, um, but I still use. It would be a great place to put clothes pins or even laundry pods because I tend to use laundry pods as opposed to liquids. So I thought that was really pretty. I love that blessed on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Um, so I got three of these and these were, these were $10 at Big Lot. And then I got these. These were so cute. I got these from the dollar spot at Target. I thought they were just so cute. I love the color. And I said, there's something that I can do with these in my laundry room. And if I don't end up using them in the laundry room, I can put them in another place in my home. I can definitely see a DIY in this. So again, they were just a dollar each. So I grabbed three. Uh, what else? Oh, and then I picked up some signs, which I, I thought was really cute. Some laundry room signs. Live, laugh, laundry. One of the reasons that I bought this one was because of the little handle here. I love that. The little drawer pull that they put here on the top. I just thought that was so cute. Very, very cute. That was uh, $8. And then I also got this one. This also came from Big Lots. As long as everything is exactly how I want it, I am totally flexible. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I thought my children would get a, a kick out of that. <laughs> and this one was $7. So again, I haven't decided whether I'm going to paint these items or not. Um, I had considered it. This one I was considering changing the color. I'm not sure, we'll see. And then I got um, two bigger ones, like this Love Grows Best. 
And this one I got from Target. No, Big Lots. And this one was $10. It said, love grows best in a house just like this. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so cute. This is really something I could probably DIY. But I ran into it and I, I just thought it was so cute. I couldn't leave it. So I got a couple of these. So again, these are going to go on the wall in the laundry room. Just to jazz it up a little bit. And then I got some greenery. These were, uh, these were $10 as well. Uh, potted greenery they called them and I thought that was really cute I like the the little pot that that it's in um, I thought it was really pretty and then I love the lamb's ears that are on the inside I got a couple of these as well and these were ten dollars if I didn't say that already I think I did but anyway <laughs> I thought those were so cute and uh, what else oh and then I got a laundry sign um, I was looking for a larger one. I wanted a larger laundry sign. What does it say? Laundry company, wash, dry, and fold. I wanted a larger sign. This one was also $10. But um, this was the only one they had. So I saw one online um, that I've ordered from Amazon. Um, my Amazon order hasn't come in yet. So um, that'll be another haul that I'll show. You know, Amazon Prime takes a little longer than it used to now. So I held up this I held up this uh, haul as long as I could and I just decided that I'd go ahead and uh, share it and I'll consider using I will use this sign. I don't know if I'm going to use it in the original place. I think the sign that I ordered from Amazon will go up in the center on the top. I could see this used in a different place in the laundry room. But I still think it's going to be pretty. And then I got some uh, placemats. These were not going into the laundry room. They might. They could. Um, it's possible. It's possible that these could end up in the laundry room. Um, but that's not necessarily what I bought them for. I just love the colors on that. Um, I'm more than likely going to put this on my table. But you never know. Don't hold me to that. Um, these were... How much were these? I don't even know what the price was for these. That's kind of scary. I don't know what the price was for these, but I thought they were really pretty. They have the creams, the gray, and the tan. That really picks up a lot of what's going in my on in my home, in my decor um, with pops of navy blue. So I love that color thing that, that works for me. So I got four of these, because they only had four. I wanted six, but they didn't have six of them. Um, so I thought I could still use those in the kitchen, even though they didn't have six of them. Then I also got a runner because I couldn't decide whether um, if I end up putting the placemats in the kitchen, I wanted to put a runner across the shelf that I made. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above my laundry room shelf that I DIY'd. And I thought this would be pretty on that shelf. That or again, it can end up on the kitchen table. And this came from uh, Big Lots. This is a, a 14 by 72 inch runner again I don't know how much I paid for this and and I probably should I, ha I have to pull the receipt I can link it down below uh, as to what I paid for it but I thought that was pretty too and if you can't tell it's like a, a tan it's like a grayish brown it's a grayish brown and cream and I love those colors. I love that color combination one of these will end up in the laundry room and one will end up on my kitchen table you have to stay tuned to see which goes where. And then I picked up some towels. Um, I don't normally get my towels from Big Lots. I got this from Big Lots. I don't normally get my towels from Big Lots, but since I couldn't get to uh, Home Goods or uh, Home Sense, I picked up some for. Um, I picked up some from big lots i also pick up towels from time to time from target but i ran into these and these were on sale uh for six dollars each and these are the bath sheets uh so these are the really big ones and i love those kind that works really well uh for my family we're all pretty tall so that works for us and i couldn't beat the price so i went ahead and grabbed them and then i grabbed some storage bins and i got these from target 
and I got four of these and I thought these were really cute. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all four of them in my laundry room, but if I don't, the bathroom in my basement um, could use a couple of these bins for storage. So I may end up using two for the laundry room and two for uh, my basement bathroom. But again, we'll see. I thought they were so cute. These were the ones that are, oh, can I open them? can't pull them apart but you know what they are the little boxes you you've all seen these before um I love that pattern gray and white so again as, as you can tell that gray and white theme for the additional storage in the laundry room or one of my bathrooms and then last but not least are my baskets that I will be using in the laundry room these are huge I got these from I got these from Target and they were $12.99 each. I got four of them. And I'm going to also uh, include these inside my laundry room. I didn't want them too deep, but I wanted them deep enough to hold all the different things that I have and need for laundry to keep the room looking nice and neat. Uh, but I thought these baskets were absolutely beautiful. They were in the gray and white theme that I love so much. I just think it's so, I just think it's so fresh. Uh, I think the laundry room is gonna look really pretty with these. I like it. It's not too too busy. It's just busy enough. Still gives lends a, a, a air. A, it gives me that cohesive, clean look to the laundry room, which kind of makes it a little more bearable. I'm not one for doing laundry. I'm not crazy about doing laundry, but if the area is pretty, it makes it a little less tedious for me. <laughs> I don't think it can hold that much weight. I don't intend to put too much weight in them. The ones that I really wanted uh, were at home. Uh, well, the last time I went there, they were at HomeSense. And I said that I would go back and I will pick them up later. I know you're never supposed to do that at HomeSense nor Home Goods. If you see something that you like, grab it, pick it up. Because there's no guarantee that it'll ever be, that it'll be there when you come back. And there's no guarantee that they'll ever have it again. And I made the mistake of saying, no, that wasn't what I was there for today. Um, I'll, I'll get them later. And that was before everything shut down uh, for the, you know, that was before the quarantine started. <laughs> so I got the next best thing. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my laundry room home decor haul. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would love to hear from you, so leave me a comment and I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you stay tuned for my laundry room makeover. And with that being said, stay safe, stay home, and stay tuned. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.